Hey everybody, it's Sean Seymour at 358 Studios, and I've been asked a lot how to get more than 10 locations into Google Maps. We're going to do that using an Excel spreadsheet import. For those of you out there who want to map out your customers or your stops in a specific area, this is going to work perfectly for you. So follow along. Here we go. So create an Excel spreadsheet that has all the information you need. You need the name, the address, uh, and that's about it. Make sure you don't have more than one sheet and make sure you have titles, um, so headers. Insert a row and then create the headers that you need. These are the headers you're gonna reference once you import your sheet. If you don't have a state, make sure you've got a state. Go ahead and save it, quit, bring up Google Maps. Then we're gonna go to the little menu button over here in the top left, scroll all the way down to your places, click on maps, and down at the bottom it says create maps. We're going to click on the blue import text and then select the file from your computer. I put mine on the desktop where it's easy to find. Click on the Excel spreadsheet and go ahead and import. This is where we're going to tell Google Maps where to put the place marks. So if you titled your columns in your Excel spreadsheet correctly, you should just be able to click on address, city, state, and zip, and Google Maps will do the rest for you. Coolio, so now we're going to tell it what to call those place marks. Uh, I just use name, because nothing else really makes sense when you hover over the place mark. So click on name, click on finish, and then you will see it import everything that you had in your Excel spreadsheet. All right, it may not look like anything's happened, but it has. You gotta scroll over to wherever it is that uh, your data is residing. Mine happens to be dentist in Sacramento. Now, untitled map is not gonna tell me a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of the map. Just click on that. It'll bring up this little window, and I'm gonna call mine Dentist in Sacramento. That's important when it comes time to try and figure out which map you wanna look at on your phone or in your places. You'll notice when I hover or click over the top of one of these place marks, there's the name of the person, the address of the person, everything else. So now I want to create a route. Let's add some directions. So up pops the direction window. I can now click on a couple of place marks and create some directions. If you want to create a route, all you have to do is continue to add destination and click on another placeholder. As you continue to add destinations, Google Maps is going to go ahead and route that as best it can in between your A and your last destination. You can also reorganize these destinations to change the order that the stops happen and Google Maps will update the map accordingly. So I find this really cool when I'm traveling in a new city to map out a route or even when I'm on vacation and I want to map out the sites that I want to see. For those of you that want to access this on your phone, all you have to do is go to Google Maps, My Places, and Maps, and you'll see that this map's automatically synchronized to your phone. So I hope you found this video helpful. As always, please like the video or subscribe to our website. Leave comments below. Have a great day.